finally came! The big one. Oh, jeez. <laughs> What's up and welcome back to the Junkyard folks, I'm your host Dean the Junkernaut and today I hope you're having a great day because we are going to be revisiting a really really fun project I did a few months back uh, that started off just as a one minute mod where I took this uh, Nerf gun, it's a Boomco gun called the Crank Force and I made it full auto by attaching a drill to it. Now there's a couple inherent problems with this modification I hope that we can rectify those today. Uh, the first one being that it's it's just too practical to run this in a war, you know. Uh, you, you've got an extra handle here for support, you've got a trigger, you know. And, and the second thing is that it's uh, it's too small, you know, it's, it's just it's embarrassing, really, that's what it is. We're going to add a second crank force blaster on the side. I'm sorry, God, I'm sorry, did I say second? I meant uh, third and fourth crank force. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but I think we're going to have a good time, so let's do it. If you haven't already watched the one minute modification on this blaster, uh, I invite you to do that now. There's actually a centralized crank gear on either side. And so when I turn this side, for example, this side also turns. Now that's good news for us because it basically means I can uh, jerry-rig these together just attaching these middle portions with either a piece of wood or a cut piece of pipe. Unfortunately, I do not have a table saw, so we're just going to have to um, kind of do it in a very ghetto fashion, but I'm used to that, so no worries. There's a internal clutch that when this is moving forwards, it takes almost no force to hold close, which is not going to work for us. We have found the internal uh, gear clutch system, whatever you want to call it. Whenever you're pushing one way, the gear teeth catch and the other teeth slip take that little gear piece and I sunk a single screw uh, down into it and I beveled it the uh, entrance so that the head could sit mostly flush. Uh, one clip that ran all the way through and we had our second clip only shot three times. It just uh, just couldn't take the force so it finally either snapped off the, the screw or I don't know. <laughs> Another day, we finally got the uh, prototype version of this working. Initially, I was going to daisy chain all four of these blasters, um, each one powering the one next to it. Now the problem, as I've started thinking about that, at its peak, um, holding the whole weight of the spring on the gears of this blaster, but it's also holding the whole weight of this blaster's spring at the same time. With how much trouble it took just to get the gears to take this, I really don't think it's going to be able to take three or four. So the solution is that I'm going to do the exact same mod that I did on the gears on this one, and then we're going to attach them together in the middle. I can't really remember, have I already made the disclaimer to not use tools and materials the way that I do? If not, this is it. up the tip, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> what if I just used a small piece of PVC pipe? It will uh, snug right in there and then we're going to just sink the screws on either side of that. That is the plan. A lot of people will be scandalized by the way I'm putting this together. And uh, to those people I just say, suck it! It's not that I don't know the right way to do it, I just don't care most of the time. I guess you could say it's finally time to start getting into the nuts and bolts of this project. <laughs> You basically become like a Gundam, 
that's about to shoot like a thousand anime missiles out at your enemies. A 10 out of 10 would, would uh, gun them again. <laughs> you guys may or may not recognize what this is. It's actually the stand from an oscillating fan. And we're going to use it in a second to make something really fun. <laughs> I literally can't decide if this is the awesomest or the stupidest thing I've ever made. <laughs> I forgot a small but important detail, uh, which was making some kind of thing to hold the triggers down. Just cut a little piece of this pipe, stick it in here, and then drill into the wood, and ta-da, it's done. And it's uh, not quite molto bene, but it is uh, molto sketchy. Molto sketchy! <laughs> this isn't impractical at all. Thank you, man! <laughs> The uh, crank, uh, drill shaft, driver, whatever you want to call it, on the left side of the gun kept slipping. That's why we were having all those failed firing tests. Uh, what I ended up doing was going with a larger bolt, and I uh, ground it down into kind of a T. And then I heated this up um, pretty hot and actually melted the shape into this. So that's going to give it a lot more um, purchase. Take much more of this. My heart. It's just, the disappointment is uh, overwhelming. It's suffocating. Try number two, many to remember. In three, two, one. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> To be honest, it misfired about 20% of the darts, but that is good enough for me. <laughs> Man, I feel exhausted. This thing became so much more of a challenge than I uh, anticipated. And so if I thought that the project really was worth trying to make everything work perfectly and make it all look uh, good, I could definitely go down that route. Even as a turret, this thing is just ridiculous. It is so ridiculous. So if you're watching this and you are thinking, oh, well, this is dumb. I've seen other people make Nerf turrets or I've, you know, seen Coop attach like nine blah, blah, blahs together and shoot them. Let me remind you, none of these are meant to be full auto. They're not. That is the major hurdle of this project. Not putting it on a stand, not attaching them together. All that stuff is super easy. It required modification of both internal and external parts to make them do something that they were not meant to do. <laughs> Besides just being bulbous and ridiculous, which was kind of the point of the build, it's also even more impractical than I could have possibly imagined. <laughs> So even today, you know, I started it up, loaded the magazines and everything, thinking, okay, it's going to take five minutes, I'm going to shoot it, I'm going to get the video, boom, we'll be editing, done. That was three hours ago. Three hours of tinkering to get one mostly successful firing test with this. Wow, I don't even know what to say at this point. Because honestly, what I'm probably going to end up doing is cutting them down the center and then just having two sets of two at any rate, guys, I'm Ian the Junker Not. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up so I can keep making crazy crap like this. And also hit that subscribe button if you want to see more stuff in the future. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>